My guest is Pastor Kumar Dixit, who is the senior pastor of the Oak Ridge Seventh-day Adventist Church in Vancouver, and he's also the ministerial secretary for the conference. Kumar, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Now, you have a button here that says, Ask me about Let's Move Vancouver. I want to ask you about Let's Move Vancouver. Let's Move Vancouver is a new, new initiative that we're doing in 2016. Yep. And all of the pastors and churches in the greater Vancouver area are committed to doing an entire year of evangelism to reach unchurched people in the city. Now, when you say all of the churches and all of the pastors, that would be highly unusual, wouldn't it, to try to get every pastor and every church on board to a combined initiative? Is that possible? Well, this is proof that this is only a miracle of God to yeah. get all of the area churches, ethnic churches, uh, pastors from different ideological backgrounds or theological backgrounds, every one of them are committed to reaching unchurched people for Jesus. And so we've been able to put away our differences and say, okay, we're going to focus on one thing, and that is reaching people, lost people for Jesus. Fantastic. So, so what's the plan? What's going to happen in 2016? Well, the plan is this. We are committed to doing an entire year of evangelism. So instead of doing a 10-night series or a 21-night reaping series, uh, we're going to do over 150 programs throughout the entire year. So every church is going to choose about 10 to 12 great outreach programs, evangelistic meetings that they're used to doing, and it's all going to be packaged under Let's Move Vancouver. Uh, letsmovevancouver.com is going to be a way that anybody in the city is going to be able to hear about it and see it. And then we're going to invite people to come to outreach activities, Bible studies, uh, service opportunities, whatever people are interested in doing, it's going to be under the umbrella of Let's Move. So it's coordinated, it's focused, it's doing it together. What's different about this approach? I mean, every church does has its own evangelistic programs. What's different about this? Gary, people in Vancouver are actually very antagonistic towards Christians. Uh, they do not like Christians at all. And so if we were to say, we want you to come to a Revelation series about Jesus, first of all, they don't even know who Jesus is. So Revelation is not even relevant to them. But the one common denominator that the Seventh-day Adventist Church has with the city of Vancouver is our health message. Vancouver is one of the healthiest cities in the world. I like to call them the granola crowd. Uh, they eat very healthy, they love going on hikes, they love doing uh, exercise. And so Let's Move Vancouver is really based on getting people physically moving as well as, as, well as moving them towards the cross. And so that idea of, of getting people based on the health message, that's really what we're gonna be focusing on during 2016. So what sort of health message programming will there be? Oh man, there's going to be so many things. In fact, in, uh, in, the, in the spring of 2016, we're going to be having a huge uh, health expo. Uh, with, and we're hoping to have about seven to 10,000 people come to the health expo. And we're going to be sharing lifestyle uh, messages, uh, relationship issues, exercise, stretching, you, the whole gamut on, on healthy living based on what Ellen G. White says about if you focus on health ministries, people will come to know Jesus Christ. Hmm. What, um, what is your local church, Oak Ridge, planning for next year? Oh man, we are, we are so day. super pumped. <laughs> yeah, we're planning small group ministries. We're, we're in fact just starting a exercise program for seniors. There's quite a bit of seniors that are living in our local community. Um, we're gonna be reaching uh, young adults um, or youth who are at risk and having table tennis matches and reaching them. We're also gonna be doing a lot of outdoors activities. Um, but really what we really wanna focus on is also biblical teaching. And so the way that we're gonna do that is based on answering important questions. For example, a lot of marriages are in, in trouble. And so we're gonna be doing teaching series on, on marriages and finances, offering financial seminars, as well as helping people have relevant help in their life. Kumar, you've had many years uh, as a local church pastor. How do you involve church members in ministry? I mean, I don't know, in your church, is it just a few who are involved? How do you get people involved? Uh, I usually tell people, I say, I want you to raise your right hand. Go ahead and raise your right hand. And I say, Gary, I now deputize you to do ministry on behalf of the church. Okay. And it's that simple. The, 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 the most important thing is to get people into ministry as quick as possible. Uh, don't wait for the end of the year when nominating committee rolls around. As soon as people are starting to come in and be involved in your church, you want to get them involved in serving ministry because that's part of discipleship for them to actually start serving and getting to know who Jesus is. So 
um, I really, really encourage people to start serving in order for them to understand what the message and the mission of the church is. Yeah, wonderful. Now, if people want to find out more information about Let's Move Vancouver, how do they do that? Well, they can go to letsmovevancouver.com, mm -hmm. and on that um, page will be more information about what the entire year is about. Um, and if they want to donate uh, to this evangelistic cause, um, they can always just contact the British Columbia Conference of Seventh-day Adventist and, and get in touch with them. What's your greatest hope that will result from this initiative? Our greatest hope is for people to know Jesus Christ. Um, I believe that Jesus is coming so soon. In fact, I'm hoping that Jesus is going to be here within the next year. And I want to see more people come to know Jesus Christ. And so our hope for Let's Move Vancouver is to have 500 baptisms on top of what we normally have and to just sow 5,000 seeds. You know, people aren't coming to know Jesus in a 21 night series like they did 50 years ago. But our hope and goal is that people, the seeds will be planted. And then over the years after 2016, we're going to see hundreds of more baptisms and lost people who now know the love of Jesus. Um, Kuma, just tell me quickly, have you any um, doubts or any fears about this coming year? I have absolutely no fears. And let me tell you why. Um, our, our budget is $1.6 million. And guess how much money we've raised so far? Half a million? $125,000. Okay, so you're real well on the way. <laughs> okay, so I, I have a lot to go, right? Not just budget, but volunteers, get churches excited. And I have one verse that keeps me going, and that is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understandings, but acknowledge him and he will lead your paths. I'm not doing it for me. I'm not trying to get all the credit. I'm doing it for Jesus. And if Jesus is going to bless it, then it's his business to bless this ministry. Wonderful. Thanks so much for sharing, Kuma. Thank Appreciate you. it very much. So much. And we'll be right back after this break.